Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, oh, it is a group interview. Fuck. We can, we can hear oh you. God. The, um, what we'll do is we'll give it a couple couple moments. Not a whole lot of time. It's 11. I know you guys probably have a lot of other things that you, that you want to do. So I, I'll, I'll be honest. This presentation is probably only going to take about maybe 15, 20 minutes. 30 minutes at the most. But that's if you have questions, and we'll hold all those questions and everything kind of to the end of the presentation. All right, conversation with us. I actually have a question right now. What's up? What are we selling, and how much do we get paid? We, you, get, you get paid as much as you can make. You know what I mean? So you get a percentage. You can either get you get 30 to 50 percent, sometimes 60 percent if you're if you're if you're a, an elite assassin. <laughs> and are we selling door? What are we selling? And what does that mean? You know, uh, outreach marketing material, mm -hmm. mugs, signage, show, trade show setup, things like that. So we're going to a trade show, and we're. Well, you're welcome to if you go. Uh, yeah, I mean that's where we pick up. I picked up a lot of business participating in trade shows, but the go the goal is to be ahead of that. You don't want to get there and then try to sell. You want to know that the trade show is coming before, so you're selling it to the people that are going. Okay, and what are we selling to them? Okay. Like what? Hey, for example. So I'll tell you what. Let's go. Let's get ready. Go. I'll go ahead and run through the entire presentation for you, and then you'll have a you know kind of a, a, a better understanding. Give me twenty minutes, and then uh, and um, you, you 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 should have a better understanding of who we are and what we do. Okay. Okay. That's. Let's do that. So go ahead and mute yourselves, or I'll have Justice go ahead and mute you, but we're going to go ahead and run through this presentation. Um, and the host hey, muted Justice, me. you want to make sure my technology works? How's that? Yeah, it looks good. We good? That's all right, so great, 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 great. So hey, everybody. First of all, I'll go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Glenn Bradley. I'm a senior marketing strategist here at BHC. We're the brand recognition wow. leader. Um, I'm super excited that you're here. Um, hope that you're all doing well. A quick note before we get started, as I said before, I understand that this whole group thing isn't all that personable, but in short, uh, it's the quickest way for you to get a full understanding of our career opportunity, Speci specifically from someone who's in sales leadership uh, and that, that truly understands and gets the role. I get the role. And uh, for some additional I'm looking, clarity I'm about today, right now. I won't be asking you a whole ton of questions uh, that you'll need to answer in a group setting. You'll actually be interviewing me and the company. Yeah, they don't tell anything. So I'll kind of give you an idea of what we're doing. So um, dumb. So during the next 20 minutes, I'll paint an A to Z picture of our opportunity along with why I think it's one of the best careers available. Yeah, yeah, you're and telling us nothing about the actual job. We can finish up any questions that you might have. Assuming that you like what you hear, we can take nope. the next steps into a one-on-one -on -one meeting today or tomorrow uh, and dive deeper into a career, uh, into so your personal insane. career needs and goals. And if for whatever reason it's not a fit, then that's fine too because uh, this will be fairly quick. Either way, you'll hold on to all your questions for now because most of, the, of them will be answered over this next 20 minutes. And we'll get uh, waste my time. Yeah, you know, we'll get to do some Q and A uh, at the end of this as well. So again, I'm excited that you're here. I absolutely love this industry and our company, and I'm grateful that you've shown enough. Yep, so far, you said uh, exactly nothing about, about anything that we're going to talk about today. So the first thing, holy fuck, that I want to uh, touch on is is one uh, something that is critical to they actually muted us career. too. And that's being a like I can't just unmute myself and, and talk. That aligns with who you are and who you want to Holy be. Fuck. Uh, it's almost gotten to be a cliche thing to to mention company culture. Yep, stop wasting but my it's time. It's still so very important. You'll learn more as we go, but I want you to know now that we care deeply about our people, and we understand yeah. that anyone deciding to bet their future on this company and opportunity deserves the absolute best from us. At a high level. We have a deep understanding or a deep desire uh, for this to literally be the best this is what the thing looks that like. you've ever experienced, while at the same time putting you in a place to make the most amount of money that you've ever made. 
It says and there's a lot of nothing. detail that kind of goes it into says accomplishing nothing that. about the actual. But we know that if we can accomplish those two core ideas and align ourselves with people who share the same values, we can attract and keep the right people long term and continue to accomplish. So our far, vision. I've heard absolutely the nothing that helps me. The vision of building a highly others. profitable, multi-million dollar brand yeah. recognition yeah, agency that's what you said, yeah. that allows us to accomplish yeah, our that's mission. That's what the drug dealers say too. While at the same time putting all of BAC team members in a position of long-term job security within a career career that they actually truly love, Dude. and also empowering yeah, businesses and organizations to website. make meaningful impacts on their clients and employees through creative marketing solutions, and that's what we do. We, we're doing. We're a marketing agency. We strive to be this the catalyst for positive change, insane. helping our clients reach their goals and connect with their look, target look at this. This audience in the same nothing. meaningful and authentic way that we do. It says by literally goal, nothing. Creativity, Graphic design, mobile. Thinking, what does this even mean? None of this even makes any sense. You can't even you tell you anything. See, success in a sales career Holy is all fuck. about having the right opportunity, the right sales systems, and proper wow. training. And aligning so that with retarded. high level success. Might as well habits. Do setups. So if you're a person that this is values so disgusting that they actually do this habits in life or even has a deep desire to implement yeah. great habits. So you literally go to job fairs, that's what he said, or and then he wouldn't even tell us what we're selling. He wouldn't tell us what we're selling. And income opportunity that you have no, listening, you've ever been a part of. Successful traditional digital marketing campaigns for as you might have guessed, this marketing industry so I still can't figure out what we're doing. Web design. Us to provide that for our staff. And just so you know, as I said, I don't know what we're selling. I can't even figure it out myself, and he won't tell us. Traditional and digital top right services to businesses and professionals in higher digital market campaigns. So we're selling um, digital market campaigns. What? Aviation, the financial, uh, well, a solid web well presence. Every uh, company is the same game. As well as construction well, if we providers. struggle to win a client's and trust, simply, um, simplify that down a bit for you. When I say branding services. I mean, what hey, we capital sell is audience is what we strive for. You get the customer and sell it. I don't know what the. Material, promotional oh, we're literally building a website material, for these people, so we're selling a website. Uh, I is a waste of my time. Some people what the literal fuck? But that's kind I of still can't even figure. Out. I don't even know. If you decide that this is a, so uh, we uh, yeah. So what we do actually do is lie to customers and, so, and lie to your um, people that are doing the actual job, pay you absolutely nothing, and pretend that we give you a job. We take the time to carefully design programs that are right from concept to completion and then on to distribution. At Big Hit Creative Group, we have the experience, we have the tools, we have the strategic partnerships and the know-how to help companies stand out. This, is, this guy is the biggest fucking con artist we work to ever fucking live. In the world. And here's a couple of things that we've uh, had Holy fuck. Know, that they've had to say about us. So I'm probably going to tell these people to burn in hell and actually just fire them into the ground. Fucking complete retards. And then they, they had a table there. And uh, I said, hey, do you guys have a need for promotional products? And they were like, Glenn, the last thing we need is another promotional products vendor. Because we what have so many. Coca-Cola is global. So, um... What does that even mean? We have a bunch of promotional products vendors. Coca-Cola is gold. What does that even mean? What the fuck? What, what even was that sentence of fucking gibberish? That we can create a program that you've never, ever experienced. I went back with my team, we sat down, we, we, we put ideas together, and we came up with an employee incentive program. So oh, my God, I actually got up again for this, uh, man. Them outreaching to their customers, but it was more internal. So we built uh, uh, an incentive program. I don't even want to. F- we recognized their employees at their big events. And, and, uh, and the truth is that they fell in love with it. They thought it was fantastic. So we closed. Bro, I can't program. figure out what they do. This is so yeah, depressing. This is so fucking annoying. Seen before because I can't understand. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. He's just literally talking about nothing. We went to an event. I saw some tables. I was there. We did the promotional promotions. And then we did a promotion. And I got a promotion. And we went to another event. It was great. We so good. And we're millionaires. Woo! What the fuck? I fully understand what makes us unique from other companies in this amazing industry. Bringing you the confidence in the fact that you're I still don't know what's going on. I'm listening the entire time. Now, prior to starting this company, I worked in various sales and marketing roles. But I'll give oh you the Reader's God. Digest version of one, the ones that taught me the most. 
I started out uh, in a in a career in a car dealership. I was watching. Not going back to play. Not even. This is so yeah, no, like, I didn't even know how to drive a, a, a five speed or a stick shift. Yeah. Yeah, you still don't know how to drive a vehicle. You need a shopping car or a I took a chance of becoming a full uh, commission oh, salesperson. Then I led my own sales teams. And then I ultimately became the overall company sales Just tell us what we're selling! And I helped a lot of people succeed. Now, as a result of my drive and commitment to excellence and unrelenting pursuit to do what was oh right my, for the script, man. family and the desire to reach my own it's personal the only goals, a small pin green weasel knows how to do. Which leads me to how our company was created. After leaving the car business, I was into an account people? executive role with Bank of America. And here's where I learned What's the value of talking about strategic sale? marketing and outreach. Then he left the Bank of America? A good There's no way Bank of America hired that little fucker. But here's where is. learning to be creative in different ways became a factor. There's no way Bank of America hired that company. I thought it was time to move on. And I opened Maybe Bank of North Korea. Production company. This was back in 2005. Holy shit. We did a series of commercials, independent films, and eventually so what became he, what are you talking the about films now? Time Warner Cable what is he talking about? Production team. Over the time, we grew and evolved into a full-service integrated advertising agency. Today, we're the leading brand recognition agency right here in Dallas, Texas. Currently, we're the exclusive brand recognition partner for the busiest airport in the entire world, Dallas Fort Worth International what? Airport. And we serve now he's talking about the airport. Bank, Tyson Foods, Coca Cola, and many other recognizable brands. Which oh, he's just saying that they're you know, as, we, as we go on. Lying about the brands yeah. that we represent? Okay. And the, the, the great thing that sells us, sets us apart from any of the other agencies out there that are like, like ours, if there are any other, um, is our great company culture. The clients that we get to serve. And the partners that we work with that give us I'm the call to the end for is, our clients the highest level the, of customer satisfaction. And again, all we're I doing today to is this simply a complete scam. What they're doing is a line with our values. complete and utter joke, and that they're fucking. About what we do. Oh, am I wasting we everyone's time? We desire more out of life, so we can put those people in a position to have the best work environment and income experience that they've ever had. Actually, I don't even. Can I unmute myself? No, right. This can be pretty much a hybrid or fully remote position. I'm totally oh, open fuck. to that because I understand that in sales you have to be free to fly, right? So the office is officially open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Why am I even still listening to this? The most successful people in the industry rarely yeah. work the typical hours right on. Now, this is a full commission role, and the pay range is broad, but the average and mid-range mid is between seventy five dollars and $125,000 a year. Now, there are those units by doing that what? I have seen make upwards of two hundred and fifty thousand in a year. Now, by doing it's what? Expensive. And it's not it's not just given to you, to you. You know, it's absolutely earned. It's earned. Now, the amount is totally earned by the best. This sales position is uh, important because it's the key ingredient to helping you obtain the quality of lifestyle that you. Oh deserve. my God! What are we selling? At your earning. Um, Fucking you God. You'll be able to do it from anywhere in the world pretty much as long as you apply yourself. And it's we can't do it from anywhere because you have no we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. And when I click on what we do, they give me a chart of a graph. What the fuck does this even mean? This part is super important. I'm sure a lot of you understand this already. He's talking about habits now. Great success habits as a core value at this company. One of the things I mean is obviously to be around like minded people. But it's also because it's an absolute impossibility to have high levels have high levels of success in anything in life without great success. Oh my habits. god! Yeah, he's just talking about himself. A team without team. Ain't lying about what jobs he used to have. <laughs> oh yeah, I used to make some money at Bank of America, being like a teller. Then they fired me because I was lying to my customer and scamming them out of money. Uh, by the way, if you want this job, you're going to have to move to a sweatshop in North Korea and make uh, shekels. Maybe you can farm dust on the side of the road. What is he talking about? Well, you would think this isn't a recording, wouldn't you? This is an NPC. This isn't a real person. Like, this is fucking insane. I don't even know if it's a real person anymore or if it's a recording. Like, time. what the you fuck is this person it's doing? On your future because it's one of the it's not even a bro. Of your life, right? This can't so, be a real person. It's not moving you to oh a place of actually having that now I want the Indian girl back again. And, uh, 
I actually want the fucking Indian girl back who did barely spoke any English. Look, she was better than this guy. Oh, yeah, they always tell this bullshit. They always talk about the doctor who spent uh, seven years or whatever to make like $500,000 a year. Yep, he really did a bad job. Spending hundreds of thousands on student loans. And those loans, the unknown. Yeah, I did that anyway. That 10, 15 years, you know, time. What, you know, what? The, the, the other person gave the same exact speech. The same exact speech. Except in, in reality, what you had to do is get 15 people under you. You have to work a hell on earth job uh, selling fucking silverware in the sun. Get 10 to 15 people under you who absolutely despise you and don't believe in what they're doing. Uh, all so you can make like $70,000 a year if everything succeeds. And then you also have to pay the business expenses of, of owning a company, which is like $4,000 a month to even own a, a place for the people to go. So you actually net zero. Put in what work? What are we selling? Short-lived. Oh, uh, short-lived. I mean, you are going to be working the rest of your life. But short-lived, and you're probably going to have to quit this job in a couple month or less than that the first day. Because, but it's short-lived. It's short-lived. See the income that you'll want to be at can vary from as little as four weeks up to four months, depending on how hungry you are and how diligent you are. Now, the necessary day-to-day -day sacrifice to our discipline... And I'm listening to a robot who's actually a, apparently a real person who Elon Musk programmed to talk about a, some random loop of, I don't know, it's supposed, it's supposed to be a job interview. I don't know what the fuck is going on still. That's a sacrifice, right? No big, no big... That's why I remember when I used to go to these fucking interviews and I would come home and then see Lori would be like, what was the job about? And I'm like, I don't know. And she'd be like, how can you not know? Well, she was too dumb to even ask that. But um, people are like, how can you not know what the interview is? I don't know still. I asked the, the questions. What are we selling? So we're marketing Coca-Cola? No. We, we work for Coca-Cola. So we're selling Coca-Cola? No, we're, we're... So I used to work for Bank of America. So we work for Bank of America? So all have, we, we represent all these brand products. And if you work for us, we'll get rich. So what are we selling? Brand recognition agency that allows us to accomplish our mission every single day while at the same time putting all of BAC team members in a position of long-term job security within a career that they truly love. You'll have the opportunity to grow into leadership position within the company just like justice who is uh the manager of operations she started out as a, a a junior designer came in as a graphic designer and just had ideas and was ready to hit the ground running and brought everything that she had so the about there. graphic designing who, who uh one of the account managers with you and you, you'll get the opportunity to, to learn from she came in as a as a uh, appointment uh, setter God, and man. she's now she's crushing it she's doing pitches for major I I organizations for this. and making a lot of money for the company <laughs> We know that we can take anyone who has commitment, who, who, has, who has a commitment to their own future, and anyone who is willing to put in the work and make them a huge success. But yeah. what I can't, but my brain is I shutting make off. This, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. The type of I'm getting dumber again. Okay I came so far, and I'm getting like, dumber. I'm listening to this. Have a desire to want more. Okay, so if you're just looking for a job to pay the bills, dude, or, what is the job that we're doing? The problem is there is no job that he's offering. Go ahead and maybe be looking in, into a different direction. But if you're looking for uh, a top paying potential, a potentially six figure career that'll put you in a place to do where you, what you be where you want to be in 10, the next 10 to 15 years, then this is for you. And all you need to do is ask yourself these three questions. Sorry, these questions. What are my actual goals? Like, my goal is to get a job that pays me money. Do I believe but you that won't the tell me a single thing? Can help me accomplish my goals. And finally, if I actually had an opportunity that I could that could tr tr truly oh put me in a God. place to accomplish my goals, what I now he's using the word opportunity and when this is literally the most disgusting slave labor fucking put in the full time gremlin fucking hot goblin fucking hard work to guarantee my own success, or am I the type of person? 
who would work for maybe one to two this weeks. This is like sharpening pencils up in a toilet in jail. And end up still just kind of quitting like the average person who hates their job. And is he still is, talking? you know, willing to just get, paid, get by fuck. paying the bills. Again, there's a reason why you're still looking for the right career. Yeah, because of jobs like this. And you're here. Jobs. And I'm not well, sure I don't why we said more jobs. Because of fucking. Uh, but hopefully, those questions create some clarity for you oh, around if this is a good fit for you or not. Because we're immediately looking to hire two to three hungry sales leaders to, to start over the next coming weeks. Sales and, leaders. You know, we'll be making those hiring decisions over the, 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 well. the, the next few days. Uh, at the latest, by the end of this week, I definitely want to know. You just straight up lies to your sales I leaders. Those, those, those gaps yeah, only, the, the only place you're leading us into a dark so alleyway where we can never fucking see it again, and then I we get ambushed by a pit bull. I have a form link that Justice is going to drop in the chat. Uh, and if you're looking to take the next steps to kind of learn more uh, in our hiring process, then I want you to click that link and complete this five, three to five minute uh, no survey. No way. And once that's completed, oh we'll receive that we'll receive those and we'll reach out to you to schedule a more formal one-on-one -on -one interview, uh, which will happen what this week fuck? and next week via Zoom. Uh, from there, we'll dive deeper into your needs, your goals, and everything, every other detail about the company and the opportunity. Dude, what do you mean? You just talked for 30 minutes. Understand. Assuming things go well, we'll start the new hiring and onboarding process and you'll, have, you'll, you'll be getting trained right away. Um, if things don't end up being the right fit, then that's fine too. Regardless, I can't wait to meet you and uh, learn more about you. So, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and stop sharing the screen right now and put the link in the chat and I'll give you a Bro. few minutes to go ahead and, and knock that out. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, let's see. Go ahead and put that in the chat and then we'll open up the floor to answer any questions that you might have. Let me. Well, you've successfully talked for 45 minutes, and I still have literally no idea what we do here. Did I talk 45 minutes? Oh, I felt like that, because oh, I didn't hear anything that we actually do. I don't know what we do. Do we do web design? Do we sell for Coca-Cola? Do we sell silverware on the side of the street? Do we work for King John un I don't know. Does everybody feel the same way? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so... Yeah, well, I mean, this may not, I don't know, if, if, that's, if that's unclear, this may not be the best fit for you. No, no, it's unclear saying. because it's it, it's made to be unclear because you won't tell us what we're actually doing. Just tell us what we're actually doing. We're a digital marketing, but we're selling at job no, fairs. No, it doesn't no, make sense to yeah, me. This depart, yeah, this actually, this, this sales opportunity isn't digital marketing. It's promotional products. You'll be selling swag and merch to companies who do trade shows or outreach uh, events. Swag? We're selling Work, swag? T-shirts, mugs, cups, things like that. T-shirts, mugs, and cups. Okay. So we're selling T-shirts. I got an answer. Oh, thank God. I'm going to have like an exorcism or something. So we're selling T-shirts, mugs, and cups. And we're doing it to anyone, people on the side of the road. Just So so you must have missed the presentation because of the I didn't. I listened the entire time. I got dumber. I couldn't even believe it. My IQ went below zero listening to you. It was... It was ridiculous. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, unfortunately, this may not be the best fit for you. I mean, are you in some Well, if this is for mentally retarded people, yeah, I'm the top salesman in my electricity company. I, but I, and they wouldn't tell me what we were selling you. Hey, to be fair to you, they wouldn't tell me what they were selling either at first, and they scammed me into an interview, and then I was the top salesman. But I don't care. I just wanted to know what we were selling, what we were actually doing, because it's insane like that people just won't tell you things because they want you to come in and actually do the scam you into actually working for them and then and then actually tell you what you're making they will never tell you what you're actually making in the interview it's ridiculous it's mind-boggling well, it's because, because it's, a, it's a full commission it's a full commission that's fine just so tell us what we're saying just be honest and tell us what we're doing and then what we're doing and then we can make an informed decision on what we're actually doing so let me ask you this guys does everybody did, did it, is there is there some clarity that anyone else would need i just want to make sure that we do clarify what it is that we actually do so do you guys need any additional clarity? Because I can go continue to... I don't think anybody else is in this interview. See you later, dumb fuck. Holy fuck. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bro. Fucking shit, man. Bro, I swear to god there's no one in that interview. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god
Bro. <laughs> I can't believe I got up from bed for that. Bro, this is why I don't have a job. Well, I do actually have a job. I can't believe I put a shirt on for this shit. Oh, fucking damn, fuck. And that guy from Lord of the Rings, the elf from Lord of the Rings. What the literal fuck? Holy shit. No, they give a 45 minute ad and they didn't even put a Pampers ad in there or a fucking woman bending down in yoga pants. Like that was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. Bro. (laughs) Oh, does anyone understand what's going on? There's no one else here. It's just you talking to yourself. There was... (laughs) There was no one else. There was just me and the guy. And he's going over for 45 minutes, muted me. And then finally, like, oh my God. Like, what the f... Bro. Dude, Taco Fox needs to start showing her teeth again and fucking start donating. Bro, I just... My brain just turned to mush. Like, oh my God. So so I, I guess we're selling t-shirts. The thing is, so I guess what it is, is selling t-shirts, mugs... <laughs> I already sell my own t-shirts. I don't need to sell your t-shirts and get less of a profit. Like, are you fucking fucked in the head? Like, oh my God, bro. Like, what does that even mean? Like, they probably they probably actually make us pay them to sell their merch or something. Bro, he goes, we sell swag. Bro, what the fuck? What are we selling shit for Shaq or something? What are we selling Applebee's for Shaq? Like, what do you mean you sell swag? Bruh. Like, I, dude. Oh, my God. Yes, I listened to the entire conversation. I got dumber. I had to go back to fucking kindergarten and fucking do, go into fucking dyslexic fucking classes to understand what you're fucking saying. Dude, selling swag on the road. Oh, at least we can laugh about it. Except it's actually sad because I'm living in object poverty. The thing is, dude, I don't even know what this, like, it's so depressing, but I'm so glad I got up for this interview just for content for my YouTube. Because the level of brain damage and stupidity, that's why I, that's why you guys ask me, why can't you get a job? This is why I, I go to all these interviews Every single one of them is the exact same thing. I mean, this one this one was one of the worst I've ever been to. Holy motherfuck. Like, dude, I've never heard someone gibber jagwalky gibberish fucking job of the This kid's head was he was licking Job the Hut's asshole for a living. Oh, by the way, and uh at the end of the call, we're licking Job of the Hut's ass for a living. Do you want to join? And we have to pay Job of the Hut to do it. Like Holy shit, you can work for the maestro, it's called watching the maestro. The thing is, when the maestro comes in chat, he tells you he despises you. The only reason he cares, or uh, the only reason he'll pretend to care about you, is I won't even pretend to care about you. It says I want your money, and that you should go literally uh, swindle your granny on her deathbed to get money to donate to the maestro for a better life. But he does say, and this is true, that he'll, he rem- always remembers the people who helped him, like Brulo, who will... Uh, and he will come back to Brulo's aid when Brulo is sucking a rotten communist potato in Siberia and carry him to absolute fucking prominence and pure victory like an absolute hero would. And that's not a lie. Wait damn. So you have to donate to me for 50 years until I get rich and famous. Then when I'm rich and famous, the maestro will donate you exactly $1 back so you can reinvest in yourself, press the fuck on through the brink of absolute and utter despair to achieve victory against all odds. And then I'll literally re- reinstate you as the fucking Pope in the Vatican. Yeah, you actually get no ads as a sub. I actually made it so you get no ads as a sub. Yeah. Oh my God. And buddy, to get that dollar, you only have to invest your entire life savings, which is probably less than a dollar anyway. Legendary. Woohoo! Fucking legendary. Dude, I'm so mad. I just, oh my God. 
That was fucking insane. That's why it was so funny because over text, over text, I kept, they kept texting me, trying to set up the interview. And I kept over and over asking them, what does the job pay? And they would send me just texts, ignoring my questions and just keep trying to set up the interview. Oh my God. That was fucking insane. <laughs> that was fucking insane. Was that not fucking the most unreal thing of all time? I can't wait to go back to sleep. I cannot wait to go back to sleep. Dude, I need to, I need to literally go back to sleep and forget that ever happened because I literally, I don't know, my brain devolved into a fucking brick. My head is probably square at this point. Like, I don't even know the level of brain damage that occurred. This one, this one was even worse than usual, though. This one was even worse than usual. I feel like I just watched My Little Pony for 30 fucking years. Like, holy shit. I feel like I just got my brain stored into a fucking cornucopia. I feel like my name has changed to fucking Bernice or something. Like, I feel like a booger-eating fucking swine. Like, dude, I feel like a pedestrian asswipe on the side of the road who can't even fucking breathe on his own. Dude, I don't even know. I feel like, a, dude, dude, that guy was just a lumpy roadblock of cottage cheese. A pure, delusional, more mongrel, drooling, slobbering. Dude, oh my god. So I gotta set my alarm now for 2 p.m. I gotta wake up at 2. I'm gonna go to sleep for two more hours. Anyway, stream, I hope you like this content. I do as much content as I can. Real life content and stuff like that because I really wanna give as good content as I can. I know uh, playing WoW is so shit and no one wants to watch it. But I do as much content as I can. I don't really know what to do in real life because I can't really do girl content because of muchacha gran, so. Uh, but anyways... Uh, the maestro farm that lumpy roadblock of cottage cheese in the ground like the gibbering jabberwocky, gibberish, soy milk, drinking, IQ of a negative guppy, T-Rex, mechanical squirrel, butterscotch eating, loving, disgusting, egg log nubbing, disgusting, pulpery loving, greasy little fucking inbred mongrel like the fucking speed of light. Blech, dude, holy shit. That's the type of kid who makes the fucking captain of every ship who's ever went down the, the fucking... Co this guy would make a sh fucking plane go down just by being on it. Dude, this is the type of guy who would, like, use 200 pounds of gel to braid one, like, strand of hair. Holy fuck. Fresh air is fucking poison to that kid. Anyway, stream, the maestro. N make sure you like this video, share it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Donate to the maestro for a better life. Uh, right here, streamlabs dot com slash crusader three four five five. I make literally no money. I have absolutely nothing in my life, but I will press on nonetheless to the brink of absolute and utter despair in the darkest of nights, at the utmost of nothingness, on the precipice of defeat, and I shall be victorious. Maestro never.